GQ those people entertainment. So the Golden Globes happened this past weekend and I couldn't care any less. Because the Golden Globes have a bad habit of never ever letting the right person win. Not that I'm saying the people that won didn't deserve it, but for Black Panther to be nominated twice and not win anything, I found myself a little salty. It's almost as if they nominate this movie just to trick the fans into tuning in to increase the viewership numbers of the award show. I feel like last year they did the same thing with Insecure on HBO, with Atlanta on FX, but that's a whole nother discussion for a different day. Today I want to talk about actor Christian Bale and what he said during his acceptance speech. Um, uh, thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. Um, I've got to look at this table and say thanks to everybody here. Christian Bale, you are an amazing actor. I don't know if you were serious or if you were joking because you were drunk, but I'm not sure if I agree with you making anti-God jokes like that. It usually never works out for people that speak that way. Do you recall the date of April 10th, 1912? A lady by the name of Sylvia Mae Caldwell was boarding a ship and an unknown crew member told her God himself couldn't sink the ship. Do you know what ship that was? The Titanic. I think we all know how that turned out. Now, if that's not enough, do you know a gentleman by the name of Christopher Hitchens? He's the author of a 2007 best-selling book titled God's Not Great. He often spoke out on the existence of God and even had a public debate on religion with Prime Minister Tony Blair. And then he died on December 15th, 2011 of throat cancer. I guess I'm saying all these things to say this. Don't talk crazy about God or don't talk against God unless you want that smoke. And the fire and brimstone. 